Hello Virgos, it's your girl Percy here to do your finance and career check-in readings. We're going to see what we're going on for the month of October um, or for 30 days or whenever you see this. It's whatever it's meant to be, right? <clears throat> I don't know why my voice just started going out as soon as I clicked into your um, thing. We have already cleansed the space out here. Um, we have a candle going, we got some sage, we got all the things happening, okay? So I'm going to shuffle your cards. We're going to do some friendly reminders per usual. Um, yeah, let's get started. Actually, real quick before we get started. <laughs> um, before we get started, this might be the last of the career videos. However, we are adding daily vibe videos and um, career and finance stuff will be added into that. Okay, so just letting you know, there's some changes going on here um, as we go on with the channel. I appreciate your support. All right, let's get started. We have friendly reminders that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only, therefore not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, click that description box down below. All right. The first card that came out is a seven of swords directly in regards to work. So my first advice is not to trust people. Like don't tell them what you're doing, your whereabouts, nothing. Don't trust people when it comes to the work that you're doing right now, okay? For some reason, there's some shadiness going on. And for quite a few of you, like a lot, um, whatever someone else is doing at work, whatever shadiness business this is, it's causing you to have to leave or walk away or something like that. Um, actually, I'm going to keep it that way because I don't feel like the grass is greener just yet. So I'm going to keep it like that, okay? So it might just be kind of like a shitty time. Why am I saying that? Because I also see... Whew, if someone's leaving a job, but they're not happy about leaving it. Or this could even be getting fired because I see an executive decision being made over here. But we have a tower moment like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting this to happen. It's shocking, you know, right? Um, and then it leads to a painful ending. What the fuck? Um, so what does that do that forces you? This could be a place where you've been at for quite some time because I do see that there's been a lot of exchange of um, a lot of reciprocation, a lot of abundance. You've made money throughout your time there. This could even be someone paying you off to leave or something like that, some type of settlement. But it doesn't really feel that way, I'm going to be honest. It feels, it feels like someone getting fired and it's something's not going your way here or you being forced to leave now for example if you're being forced to leave that would be an instance where they're like here um what's that called not being laid off um there's a name for it i don't remember the name for it but maybe they're forcing you to go into early retirement because there's some drama going on so they're like here we'll give you your benefit package now or something like that, right? That is, um, that could be an instant for instance for some of you. Um, so now you're like, well, I don't know where to go. It leads to confusion. Like I wasn't planning on going anywhere else. That wasn't part of the plan. So now you are, you feel like you have to prepare for that. And now there's another decision weighing over your head. I don't feel like whatever's happening in the job is like really your choice. But now I feel like due to that happening, now you have to make a choice of what your next move is going to be. So let's go into that. It's like it's it feels bittersweet. So maybe you have been called to leave for a while now or like you knew your time was coming for quite some time. Okay, they were like pushing you. Like you have the devil and um, the judgment card here, right? It's like spirit was telling you it was time for a while. So now, because I guess you didn't make a move here, 
now it's like, well, we had to bring the situation on you anyways. Like, it's, we wanted you to do it voluntarily, and that didn't happen, so we had to bring the tower down. So it's like divine intervention, which ugh, I hate saying that. <laughs> so the reason why I said it's bittersweet is because I think you love the people that you worked with. Um, cause I see pain happening here, right? It hurts, but I also see them throwing you like a party. Okay. So they, you really did love the people here and that's part of the pain here. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because this is you walking on a different path and these people really did become like family to you. So yeah, you've definitely been there for quite some time. All right, let's get some final messages. I also heard retirement party. Um, is it going to be okay? Yeah. It's going to... Wow. Oh, They might throw you like a surprise party. Well, I guess it's not a surprise anymore. <laughs> but they might. Because, look. <laughs> well, one, I asked if it's going to be okay. And look how many great cards you got. It's like, yes, this is happening and it feels shitty at the moment. But look what's in store for you. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, one of the happiest cards in the deck. Um, and you also have the Ten of Pentacles. That's amazing. Those are amazing fucking cards to get. You're also going to be able to spend more time with your family too. It's um, You had a lot of time where you weren't being able to spend time with your family because you were like, working or maybe the hours or something like that. You are going to be able to do that now. Um, but it is going to work out for you. But I do think they're going to like do a surprise party or something like that. Because I do feel like tears come. Like happy tears though. Um, in that sense. Alright. So that's going to be your reading. Until next time. Bye.